Hello you guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are starting off unboxing some coffee that had just come in the mail just in time to make my cup of coffee this morning. But I got some Nespresso pods. Their peppermint pinwheel one just recently came out so I ordered some of those and then also some for iced coffee. So I'm just gonna get my coffee made to start off this morning and then I'll show you guys what I'm having for breakfast. My mom is really into these American Dream nut butters and she gave me a couple of them to try and I love them so much. I'm definitely going to be purchasing some but my go-to like snack or breakfast lately has been a couple of rice cakes with some of this American Dream nut butter. Good morning. Welcome back to another video. This is going to be like a get it all done or like a day in the life. We got a whole bunch of stuff to do today. Um, we have Ninja Warrior class today at the gymnastics gym. I've got cleaning I need to do. I need to catch up on laundry. I've got homeschool, the normal stuff. But I got new Scentbird perfumes in. I was just getting ready, put my perfume on. I've been test driving some new perfumes. You guys have heard me share uh, Scentbird with you guys before. But I got three new scents in and they are all so good. I love getting Scentbird so I can try out different designer perfumes and then you know you don't have to spend a whole bunch of money on a full bottle and then you're like oh I don't actually like this because you can smell a bottle of perfume and be like oh I love that smell but then once it's on your body it smells totally different look how cute the packaging is so they're all purple this time um but they just twist up and you get such a good amount of perfume it's 30 day supply the one that i got this time a line by good habit i also got skylar magic bloom they all smell so good this one's more like fruity my favorite one that i got is this one juicy couture viva la juicy it's kind of floral sweet it smells so good this is what I'm wearing today I wore this yesterday also like I said I love being able to kind of test drive different perfumes before I make the commitment to buying a full size so it is a subscription comes right to your doorstep you can pick either a three six or 12 month subscription you can pick the amount of perfumes that you get with each one these also make a really great gift idea so we're coming into the holidays we're like what do we get for mom what do we get for my aunt whatever so and so this is such a good gift idea or maybe like your significant other um, or your best friend or something set them up with a perf perfume subscription such a good idea um, or for yourself you know treat yourself with my code for first month is only 11 bucks so be sure to check the description box. I'll have all the info, my discount code, the link, and all of that so you guys can get 30% off your first month. Now I have got to get going on getting some stuff done. So let's rock and roll. All right, friends, we are starting off in Berkeley's room today. This is kind of what we've been doing every morning. We've been picking up her room together and getting it all nice and clean so then we can do school in her room. She's been liking to sit at her little desk in the corner and do her schoolwork and I just kind of sit on her bed and help her with stuff. But we are gonna pick up her room, get her bed made, vacuum in here, and then get ready to start school. Reaching for the 
Before we start our schoolwork, I was getting some laundry switched around and Berkeley wanted to help me get everything out of the dryer. So she's gonna pull this load of laundry out and we're gonna get some laundry switched around. Now we are getting started on our homeschool for the day. So the boys are out in the living room with Donnie working on their curriculum. They use Bookshark for their fourth and fifth grade curriculum and we use the relaxed homeschool for Berkeley's kindergarten curriculum. So I'm just giving you guys an overview of what her and I are working on today. And we will also be doing some reading and sight word cards and stuff like that. So while I'm sharing this footage with you guys of us working on school, I just wanted to take a minute and talk about filming and YouTube and that kind of stuff. I actually filmed this whole entire video on my iPhone. So the reason that I did that and the reason I wanted to take a minute and come on here and talk to you guys about that is because I get asked all the time how I started my YouTube channel in 2013 and what I needed to start my channel and how to do it and all of that and I just want you guys to know that if you are feeling the pull to start a YouTube channel, there is room for everybody on this platform and you don't need all the fancy filming equipment or anything like that. I've always kept it pretty simple as far as like cameras and I don't use any lighting equipment or anything like that. So if you, all you have is a phone and a computer or even if you don't have a computer, even if you just have a phone and you can get a video editing app on there like iMovie or something like that, go for it. I really just want to encourage you guys to follow your dreams and if that means starting a YouTube channel, even if it is just for fun as a creative outlet for yourself, that is how this whole thing started for me was in 2013 I started a channel just to make fun family videos and it was a creative outlet for me being a stay at home mom with at the time two little boys that were one and two and it turned into this for me and so I definitely just want to encourage you guys like I said follow your dreams you don't have to have all the fancy equipment or go out and buy a bunch of stuff to start a YouTube channel just pull out your phone start filming whatever it is that makes you happy and whatever it is you want to film and put out there go for it so that is why I filmed this whole video with my phone today just to show you guys that you don't have to have anything fancy and you guys can do it if you put your mind to it back when I first started I had a actual like camcorder like old school video camera and that's what I use so whatever it takes you guys you can do it but now we are gonna move on into my bedroom I am gonna change my sheet get those in the wash and get some new bedding put on my bed try to make this better make this right but we're the same even though I changed really made an effort promise I would change but something stayed the same wanted to do better wanted to be great but something stayed the same something stayed So I'm getting my duvet cover put on my down comforter now and I just wanted to tell you guys how I do it. So I first lay my down comforter out on my bed just like it would be if I was making my bed and then I flip the duvet cover inside out and make sure the zipper is at the bottom and then I tie all the corners like that and then I reach my arm up through the zipper and grab one of the top corners like up at the, the head of the bed and I start pulling that through like I grab the corner of the blanket and also the duvet pull it through and push it back up to the top of the bed and then I will do the same thing with the bottom corners and then kind of shake the blanket out so that way all the edges go out to the edges and then zip it up and make the bed so I just kind of flip it in inside out if that makes sense I know there's so many ways to do the duvet cover and it's kind of a workout but once you figure out a process of doing it that works for you it's so much easier so I just want to share with you guys how I do mine
All right, my bed is made, so now I'm gonna take that laundry that Berkeley took out of the dryer for me and I'm gonna get that folded. Now we're gonna head into the boys' bedroom and I have been needing to go through their dresser drawers for a while now. I need to take out their summer like swim shorts and all of their shorts basically except for maybe a couple pairs for lounging around the house. But their drawers were pretty messy, they're nine and 10. So, you know, they don't keep everything absolutely perfect. So every once in a while I will come in and just go through everything and figure out what needs to go, what needs to get put up in the top of their closet. We have a tote in the top of their closet that I keep seasonal stuff in. So when it is winter, I will put their summer stuff up there and swap it out for the other seasons. But I just needed to go through their drawers and get things folded nicely and reorganized. So that is what we're gonna do here. Now I'm just getting that little laundry that I started in the wash earlier, swapped over to the dryer, and then we're gonna go and vacuum my bedroom.
Now the boys are just wrapping up their school day. They usually finish up with math as their last subject that they do. So Donnie is just checking some of their math problems that they were working on and I am gonna get started on making lunch. So I am making myself a wrap today. I just have an Olay wrap. That's the brand of the wrap. It's like a low carb wrap. They're really good. I've shared them in my grocery hauls before, but I'm adding some tomato, some honey mustard, some avocado, some sliced turkey, and some greens, and I'm gonna roll that up and eat that for lunch. The kids are also having sandwiches, so Donnie was helping me make some lunch for the kids as well. All right, now I am back from taking cash on a walk and isn't Oregon absolutely stunning in the fall? I cannot get over it. Every year it is just so beautiful, but I just got back so I am wiping down the dining room table because the kids had lunch and they did school and all of that. So I'm wiping that down and I'm gonna get another load of laundry folded. Now it is a little bit later and it is time to make some dinner. So I'm gonna be making some homemade vegetable soup. I kind of got this idea from a recipe on Pinterest a while back, but I totally just wing it now. So the ingredients that you're gonna need, salt and pepper to taste, a teaspoon of smoked paprika, a teaspoon of oregano, some olive oil, a whole yellow onion, some russet potatoes. I did five small ones, four stalks of celery, five large carrots, a zucchini, some dill, probably like a tablespoon or a little bit more of dill, three bay leaves, one and a half cartons of vegetable broth, some corn, 28 ounces of diced tomatoes, three bell peppers, some Parmesan cheese to sprinkle on top when you serve it, and a couple cloves of garlic, minced. So starting off, I am gonna get my onion diced up and then put some olive oil in the pan and get those started. And you're gonna cook those until they are kind of like translucent and a little bit brown. When you dream about places once I have my onion started, I am going to chop up all the rest of my veggies. So I peeled and washed the potatoes. I'm gonna chop those up into bite-sized pieces. I am going to dice up all of my bell peppers, my carrots, and my zucchini. And also the celery. Don't forget the celery, I almost forgot that. I just went back and looked at all my vegetables. So chop up all the vegetables and get them all diced up and ready to go. Dream a little harder. 
Now I got all of my vegetables in the pot after those onions were nice and cooked down. I put all the vegetables in there except for the zucchini. We're not putting that in until the end so keep that set aside. The other things that we're not adding yet are also the corn and the dill. So your zucchini, corn, and dill, those are going to stay out until like the last five minutes. But I'm going to add in all that broth and then I'm going to add in my diced tomatoes. I'm also going to add in the paprika, salt and pepper to taste, and the oregano. Once that comes to a nice boil, I'm going to stir it up, put the lid on, and turn it down to like medium-low heat and set a timer for 25 minutes. Once the 25 minute timer goes off, this is what our soup is looking like. So now I'm gonna add in the diced up zucchini, the dill, the corn, and as much garlic as you want to. We like a lot of garlic, so I put quite a bit in there for flavor. This is a good time to add in extra salt and pepper to taste if you need to. And then we're gonna put the lid on and let that simmer for another five minutes. But this is the finished product. I'm gonna dish that up, put some Parmesan cheese on top for those that like Parmesan cheese with their soup. And it is so good. It makes a ton of leftovers and I think that it tastes even better the next day. So hopefully you guys enjoy that soup recipe. But now we are done with dinner and I have some fruit that I need to prep for the week. I'm just adding my raspberries and blueberries and grapes to one bowl this time. Usually I do this in separate bowls and I decided to do it all in one this time and I kind of regretted it because it was kind of annoying having to like sort everything out afterwards. But I am just doing some of my Thieves fruit and veggie wash and filling this bowl up with water. I'm gonna let those soak for like 10 minutes, dump them out on the counter and then sort them into mason jars. I've been storing our fruit, well not the grapes. I haven't been putting grapes in mason, jar, mason jars but I've been putting those back in the container. Um, but I've been doing all of our berries in mason jars in the fridge and they've been staying fresher a lot longer. We do go through them very fast, but it's really convenient to just open the jar and like dump the berries onto the kid's plate or into a bowl or whatever. So I saw that on TikTok and I decided to try it out and we've been liking it. So I got those all washed and dumped out. So now I'm just sorting them into the mason jars, but thank you guys so much for watching this video today and taking time out of your day to click on this video and support my channel. It means so much to me. Be sure to subscribe if you're new to my channel and don't forget to check out the info in the description box so you guys can get that deal on Scentbird. But thank you guys again and I will see you in my next video very soon. Bye.